Hello, I'm Eileen from Genius Plus Academy. Today, I'm actually covering the 2022 PSI question, question 17, which some students pointed it out to be a little bit tough, but most of them actually describe it as easy. So let's have a look at this question together. Mrs. Lee baked a total of 40 large and small cakes in a ratio of 5 to 3. She decorated each large cake and each small cake with some cherries in a ratio of 3 to 2. She used a total of 204 cherries to decorate all the small cakes and 7 large cakes. Okay, now, we are going to look at the question in detail, but by now, after reading the first time, you should be able to see some characteristics of this question. So, first sentence, they actually gave us the total of the number of cakes. The small and the large cakes give a total of 40, and the ratio of the large cake to the small cakes is 5 to 3. Okay, next, she decorated each large cake and each small cake with some cherries in a ratio of 3 to 2. So, to simplify this sentence, what they are trying to say is that on each large cake, uh, the number of cherries is 3 units and then for the small cake, one small cake, the number of cherries on it is 2 units. So, this part is very important because, okay, let me just highlight the keywords first. Okay, each large cake, each small cake with the cherries, the ratio is 3 to 2. Why this is important? Because it actually tells us the number of cherries on each cake. Okay, let me just write down number of cherries on each cake. In this case, we categorize this as the value. So, the value of like one small cake is two units and then the value of the one large cake is three units. And based on the total number that they gave us, which is the 40 large and small cakes, that is the total quantity, which is the total number. So, we can have the ratio of three, five is to three, to tell us the number of cakes, okay, large to small, is in the ratio of 5 to 3. So from these two sentences, right, you can actually see that this type of question is called the proportion question, whereby uh, some of you may name it as number times value or quantity times value. So it's just a different way of naming it, but overall it's a proportion question. And lastly, they gave us a very big clue, which is the third sentence. She used a total of 204 cherries to decorate all the small cakes, which now we do not know yet how many small cakes there are. And they also gave us the number of, uh, number of large cakes that is used. Okay, so number one, question A, how many small cakes did Mrs. Lee bake? So how can we find out the answer? So the first clue comes from the first sentence. They actually tell us the number of cakes in terms of the ratio. So number of cakes, okay. We know the large to small is 5 to 3. And they actually gave us the actual total of number of large and small cakes, which is 40. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put at the end, okay, I'm going to put it as total. So 5 plus 3 units will give you 8 units. And the actual number of the total number of cakes is 40. So how do we get from 8 to 40? We times 5. As this is ratio, okay, it has to be proportional. So we multiply the whole set of ratio by 5. So 5 times 5 will give you 25. 3 times 5 will give you 15. So based on this, we actually got the actual number of large cakes and small cakes. The question only one small cake, so which is 15. That's what question A. So we're done with question A. Now let's look at the question B. How many cherries did Mrs. Lee use to decorate all the small cakes? So based on the third sentence, okay, she used a total of 204 cherries to decorate all the small cakes. Do we know the number of small cakes now? Yes, we can. So we have found out that it is 15 small cakes, okay, which is found from part A. So what can we do now? We have the quantity of the different types of cakes. We have 15 small cakes, we have 7 large cakes. And we also know, okay, in the second sentence that what is the ratio of the cherries used to decorate each large cake and each small cake, which is 3 to 2. So this is how we solve this type of question by proportion, which is the table form, which I think most of you are familiar with it. Okay, so this is the quantity times value table, which we call it, or you can call it the number times value table. So let me draw in a table first. Okay. So I'm going to put in quantity times value, okay, which will give you the total 
value. Okay, for explanation sake, I'm going to write in detail what each means. Okay, quantity means refers to the number of cakes. Value refers to the number of cherries on each cake. And the total value refers to the total number of cherries used for each type of cakes. So I um, have two types of cakes, so I'm going to break it into two rows. Number one, this will be your large cakes. Number two, second row, we will put it as the small cakes. So from the third sentence, we know that all the small cakes okay, were decorated with cherries. So there were 15 small cakes okay, that she baked. And for the large cakes, they mentioned that it's 7. So I'm going to fill in 7 and 15 in the table. And for large cakes, how many cherries were actually put on each cake? We know it's 3 to 2, but we don't know the exact number. So we will put 3 units. And for small, 3 to 2, right? So it will be 2 units. So now, can we find the total number of cherries on the large or the 7 large cakes? We can. So we take 7 times 3 units will give us 21 unit. And the next part will be the small cakes, which is 15 small cakes. So 15 small cakes and the number of cherries on each cake is 2 units. So we will take 15 times 2 u which will give us 30 units. So now what do we, what can we find out? They told us that a total of 204 cherries were used to decorate all the small cakes and 7 large cakes. So which can be found by adding 21 units, which is the total number of cherries on the 7 large cakes and the 30 units on the 15 small cakes, which is all the small cakes. So what we will do, this will actually give us 204. So I'm going to write it at the side. 21 unit plus 30 units that will give us 204 cherries, 204 cherries. So 51 U is equal to 204. One unit is 204 divided by 51, which will give us the answer 4. Okay, let's look at the question B. What do they want us to find? They want to find out how many cherries did Mrs. Lee use to decorate all the small cakes. So, which part of the table can we find the answer? So, if you know how to use the table well, okay, you should be easy. You should be able to spot what to find out easily. So, the part about decorate about the small, uh, the part about finding how many cherries to decorate all the small cakes, right, can be found here, which is the total value, which is the small cakes. So, how many units do you see there? It is actually thirty u. So, thirty units times four will give us hundred and twenty. This is the answer for. B. Okay, now since we have found question B, now let's look at question C. What do they want? How many cherries again, okay, were needed to decorate the remaining large cake? Before we can find out how many cherries, right? Do we know the remaining large cake? We do not know yet. Okay, so how can we find the remaining large cake? Remember they said that seven large cakes were decorated with cherries, right? So the total number of large cake that we have found earlier was 25. So remaining will be, okay, let me, remaining number of large cakes would be 25, which is the original, minus away 7, okay, which will give me 18 large cakes. So what else do we need to know? We, didn't, we need to know how many cherries uh, were decorated on each large cake. So one large cake, what do we know? One large cake, as we can see, okay, one large cake will use 3 units of cherry. What is 3 units of cherry? 3 times 4, which will give us 12 cherries. So we have 18 large cakes. So we will take 18 times 12, will give us 216. That's how we get the answer for part C. So for actually for this question, it's a very straightforward uh, proportion question. If you know that they actually give you the quantity and value, then the table will come in very useful if you can remember that you need to use the table to do it. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Thank you.